Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own Facebook banner video. Let's get into it. All right, so a Facebook banner video, super cool if you're not already using it for your Facebook page, super cool and super easy to use. Let me show you my Facebook banner right now. It is a very old, it's probably two intros ago uh, for my low nose intros that I've used and it's still on my Facebook banner. It is now time to change and upgrade this banner as you can see. Yeah, let's get into it. All right, so like I said before, it's super simple. We're gonna be using Premiere this time. So we're in Premiere. Let's go ahead and delete all this stuff because I just forgot that I forgot to press the record button while doing this video. All right, so um, I'm going to take my 4K clip right here, my intro clip, and we're gonna resize this for our Facebook banner video. Now, let me give you a, a, a sense right now. If you have a normal video that you, it's an already completed video, you're, you're gonna have to adjust the size of that video for it to fit for the size of the Facebook banner. Also, and well, you also wanna keep in mind that we'll get into it later again, but you also wanna shoot for a Facebook banner if you're making content specifically for your Facebook banner. So just keep, it's a little further down, we'll get into that, but keep in mind, if you're gonna make it from scratch, shoot with your Facebook banner, Facebook banner in mind instead of just converting to a Facebook banner. Let's, let's get into our sequences. All right, so we'll drag our clip onto our timeline and you can see we're in a 4K timeline and here is my video. This is the normal size that you would see on the intro you just saw. Right, okay, so let's change this into a Facebook banner uh, sequence. So we're gonna go to a sequence, sequence settings. All right, frame size. We're gonna change this to 820 by 3, 312. Press okay and boom. You can see everything just kind of punch, it widens out and punches in because of our new frame size, our new sequence settings. It's a lower resolutions, but it's everything is closer now. No, so now we have to adjust everything to fit the size of our Facebook banner frame. So we will go, we will click on the video, go to effect controls, and we'll grab our scale, and we'll push it to the left to zoom everything back out. Now right here, let me give you another, another spot. Right here, this is how big our video normally is, right? But we actually want to fill the frame. So what, what I want to do now is go to a point of the video where all the important information is, where I want it to end up centered and placed. That would happen to be the end of my video. So I'll fast forward all the way to there. And here it is, low nose tech, and there goes my name. And this is probably where it ends out. So I'm gonna zoom in from there, and I want my, you see, it kinda ends right there. Now, to me, the title looks just a little low, so I'm gonna raise it just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, and then we'll play it. All right, yep. All right, that's looking, that's looking good. I already have an existing piece of video. I just resized it, 820 by 312, and now it's ready to go for Facebook. Now, um, I have, there's another example I wanna show, uh, show you. Let's just say you have an existing piece of video that has multiple cuts, right? But now you have to, now you wanna make that, use that video for a Facebook banner video, and it's gonna have multiple, uh, you're gonna have to do multiple different takes on it or, or shifts on it. So let's go to this video right here again. Forgot to press the record button, the sequence, sequence is already there, so we can just go ahead and do it. Um, two cuts here. As you can see, one here, one here. All right, so my sequence, I already did this before, sequence settings, 820 by 312. We can go to see this one. When it's normal, it's this. So I have to blow it up, bring it in there, resize it, where's my focus? I want my focus there. We'll go to this clip. That used to be that used to be. See, I made some adjustments. All right, that used to be that. All right, now I've got to zoom in. I actually have to fill the frame, and we make some. We can make some adjustments as needed. So here we go. Let's go to the. Okay, so just something to keep in mind. If you already have a piece of video with different cuts, you're gonna to have to resize each individual um, cut. Um, yeah individual cup but if, if you're if you're already doing this within a current editing session and your cuts are already there then just throw in your sequence size it'll readjust the entire timeline um, but you're still gonna have to adjust your cuts it's a lot of I know it, it, it sounds weird but it's super simple just set your sequence settings and readjust your cuts to match 
to match the framing to match the framing all right guys all right so let's go back let's uh let's, let's render this now another piece of you want another piece of advice you want to remember is that the facebook banner only allows you to do tw from 20 seconds to 90 seconds right now our clip is only 11 seconds long so we need to double this up so i'm going to highlight my clip alt drag it over i just doubled my clip and now our settings is 22 seconds long perfect so let's put our let's set our in and out points okay let's go to file export media right now me i like using the highest quality possible so i'll go straight to 4k okay i'll go ahead and use max maximum running setting put all the things that i like all right and you can see mine's is going to go at a a 40 megabit rates whatever 40 megabits whatever you know 40 bit rates 40 megabits whatever you want to call it um and then i'll just go ahead and change my settings here 820 and you can see our box here it's switching to by 312. okay boom there we go and now we'll just call it export you'll see our estimate of size will be 111 megabytes export and we'll see it export super fast really fast um if you want to learn how to do that click on that video right there all right so our file is exported let's go to our facebook page all right here we go let's click on it where it says change cover Let's go to upload photo and video. And here's my, my file that I just rendered. We'll go and press open and it's gonna upload and it's gonna, and it's gonna do some encoding. Now, another thing while it's doing that, I wanna let you know that, keep in mind that if you wanna make original content for your Facebook banner video, shoot with the banner in mind. So don't do, don't select any close shots, shoot everything wide so it's easier to compose your shot for the size of a Facebook banner video. So for example, you wanna be shooting uh, landscapes within mind, very wide, wide angle shots, you know, body, whole bunch of sceneries. Um, if you're gonna have like a close up, then you have to keep that in mind. Pull, pull the camera far back enough so you have room to compose it within the editing to fit within the Facebook banner video. In summary, shoot with the banner in mind. Okay, so there we go. We see that our, our video is now our Facebook banner. It gives you the option to drag and to reposition, um, but that's just, that's if it gives you the, the option. Um, when you're uploading a video, it gives you the, op the opportunity or the option to also upload in 820 by 462. That's the recommended maximum size. For some reason, I don't, results may vary. Whenever I try that, it always crashes on me. Take it for what it's worth. So I just stick with 820 by 312. Um, go ahead, be brave, and try with those uh, that frame size as well, and let me know what your results are. But that's it. You know, all I have to do is just press next. Okay, automatically play video in a loop. Publish. Videos in a pub okay, yes, publish. And it does it spinning, and boom, that's it. Our Facebook cover video is open, and now we also have, we also got sound to it as well. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead, leave a like. If you wanna see more helpful videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. And as always, guys, share the love, learn, do, and share. I'll catch you next video, bye.